hey my friends so you want to create an ebook you've been hearing that leaders all create ebooks because you need to have an ebook to give to people so that they join your list right so that's one of the things that every entrepreneur uh, says that you need to do so we're going to talk about creating an ebook using tools that you have or you can get without spending a penny right all free tools and how it's not too complicated. I actually have to do an ebook myself I've done a few and I'm going to do one with you right here right now so we're going to go uh go do that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. All right, so we're going to create an ebook with a free tools so that you don't have to spend a penny on any of the software and you can create your very own ebook uh, as long as you have a topic and you write it up, right? I mean, I'm not obviously we can't <laughs> tell you what to write, but we're going to get into that in just a second, but before we do that, I want to tell you if you're listening to the audio because I do these episodes and podcasts as well or if you're looking to short video you might want to go to cis272.jsgagnon.com to go check out the long video and the podcast which I'm going to have some screenshots and things like that and in the video obviously I show you the screen I show you what I'm talking about as you listen to the audio you're going to be like well what's he showing there right so you can always go check the video there cis272.js gagnon.com go check that out all right so let's get right to it so the first thing you're going to need is something to actually write up your text right so the first thing that what I use now obviously you can let me just share my desktop here obviously you can get Microsoft Word or other editors that you know you got to pay for or maybe there's office 365 or maybe you have uh the the you have a, an educational license and you're allowed to have it for free at home and all that right but if you're running a business you probably need to have your own license to be legal right but if you don't want to have to spend money on software because you already spend money on your laptop you already spend money on the os right you already spend money on lots of other things uh, so why do you need to spend money on this too right so you can always get uh, and this is what I use Apache open office I've been using it for years uh it's basically you, you know uh, a suite of all the tools that you're ex you expect to have in a in an uh, office productivity suit right so it's got a, a text editor like a it, they call it writer they've got a calc which is like a spreadsheet impress which is like a, a presentation like you know powerpoint and microsoft right uh and then draw and base and whatever right so you've got all these things you can just go download it you can also search you can just go for a uh, open office you know download right for example you just google search for that open office download you'll end up on this on this there's a whole bunch of them you can download it wherever right you can go straight to the actual uh, open office uh, website to go and get it you just click on this you download it whatever you install it right so now the next thing that you need is well the text right so let's go into my current document that I've started working on I'm just going to open it up and you're going to see it's basically you know an editor it's the same thing as any other editor you're used to so I've just started writing it up a little bit I got a table of contents there I got some of the some of the text in there right I mean it's it's obviously not it's not ready I'm I'm starting to work on it right so but in this case I'm doing this ebook on how to post to over 20 platforms in under 20 minutes right so that's my ebook that I'm actually giving away at the end of my presentation I do Tuesday actually tonight if you're watching this on Tuesday it's tonight otherwise it's next Tuesday uh or uh, I don't know how long I'm going to do them live so definitely you want to register and by the way if you want to register it would be right here you would just go to twohourworkday.com so two so the number two and then hr for hour and then work day so w-r-k-d-a-y right so you go to twohourworkday.com and you register there to uh attend my 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 work my, well my webinar on how to post well it's not about how to post over 20 it's about being omnipresent on social media like Gary Vee 
so we're going to talk about that but I give this away at the end because you know one of the things that people want to know is how do you actually post to all these platforms in such a short amount of time and I the one of the mo most important things is to actually be able to have a, a process you follow through so you can get used to it so you can speed it up right in the beginning obviously it took me longer than 20 minutes but now I'm I've perfected it I've done it uh so much that it's it's become easy right so anyways this ebook is going to be kind of <clears throat> kind of like about all that right so here's the thing so I'm creating this ebook right now I'm actually going to show you the tools that I use so for example if I go okay let's say for example right here in my the first thing I do is publish to YouTube right so I mean I don't know I could go into a little bit of details right first you need to have a YouTube account and you need to have a YouTube channel and then after you've got a channel then you got to upload it right so to upload to YouTube right which is uh hold on where am I right over here if I go to YouTube right youtube.com then you go to your channel right over here you just say YouTube uh, your channel actually this is this is the thing I should be doing screenshots right so let's just go back here so first go to YouTube dot let's do that okay I'm just going to show you now the next tool that I use is just snipping tool I don't know if it came with windows or not but it's just a little tool that lets you take a screenshot a, a, a part of your screen and do a screenshot of it right so all you got to do is there's different options here you can say delay you can do different modes window full screen free form uh, and then when you click on the little new thing sorry when you click on the little new thing actually I'm going to make it a delay here I'm going to make this uh three second and I'm going to go over here there you go now I want a screenshot of this right and I'm going to actually circle this like this there you go so now I did a screenshot and I added a little red uh, thing around it and I'm actually going to go into my uh, document here and I'm going to do say that right here so before before whoops, first go to youtube.com and go to your channel right so I'm going to put that in here just paste it right so now I can resize this by the way if you want to make sure that it doesn't resize like it doesn't just make it like see if I go like this right I can make it look like that I don't want to do that control z to cancel that if I go like this it does that I don't want that either right so I actually and if I try to do this like this it, it lets me do whatever right and that's not good I don't want to I don't want to do that I want to make it nice and and I want it to keep the the I just want to scale it down but keep the keep the what do you call it the re, the relationship between the width and the height right so you press the shift so I go here I just press shift right so even if no matter where I put my mouse it won't it'll keep the ratio that's what I'm looking for the ratios I'm going to do that this like this there you go so go to youtube.com and go to your channel by clicking your profile on top right and then the your channel oops your channel link in the pop pop down menu right uh okay so let's just make this a link we're gonna make this a link whoops I should have uh, uh links 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 is over here oh actually I should probably make this yeah I'm gonna fix that let's just make this so that it fits the screen so you can see the whole thing actually let's do that because I want you to see the whole screen be right about here oops let's move that over here yeah I want to make sure you see everything I'm doing because otherwise you're not going to know when I say click here click there if you don't see it well here let's put it all the way to here well I suppose there's an area here there's no, okay there you go so what I was saying is that you go to here you select that text right there and then you you click on the uh the link which is this one here a hyperlink and then I'm just going to paste oh, I'll move that over here I'm going to paste that in here 
actually it's going to be https there we go apply okay so now whoops close so now this is a link inside the document now the in the case uh and, and when you create your ebook you want to have clickable links even though people are going to print this off you still want them to be able to do that okay so now once on your channel you'll see all your videos so over here then once you're there and by the way you I you probably don't have to do that you could just click on the little plus right here and say upload video right but before you do that you need to have your channel so that's why I kind of say okay go to your channel if you don't have a your channel so you click on videos here it shows you all the videos you have right but in any case uh, let's just uh, go here let's just so I'm talking yeah I'm supposed to be talking about to you about how to create an ebook using free tools and that's the reason I'm doing this is because I kind of want to show you well there's I guess one of the reasons is because I need to create this ebook but I want to show you as well the process I go through to kind of come up with an ebook right so that's there's the content we'll do a couple of paragraphs a couple of a uh, couple of parts where I'm going to do screenshots to kind of show you my process but uh in this case um see all your videos and then I'm just going to say you actually don't really need to go there to upload but just thought it would be good to show you how to see your videos so um so click on the plus and then upload option so this would be right over here the little the little plus and then upload video right so let's do another screenshot here I'm just going to go like this I actually have it already and then look right there so this is a plus and then upload video right there so I wish I could do <laughs> straighter lines or nicer looking lines but I really I really can't maybe you you can use other tools to do that there's other tools you can even use just paint right I can actually go in paint which comes with windows and I can actually paste that in here whoops let's move that over to here I can actually paste that right in here now let me just uh, resize this so I can actually do this paste that in here and now I have this oh, let's make it even smaller so it fills up the screen and then if I zoom in a little bit so I can kind of see I can actually go here and I can make a line make this red and then I can make this a nice straight line right like this and then I can make this a nice straight circle right if I wanted so I could I could do that using this tool like this right if I wanted right uh, and then I can even put numbers I can say you know let's make this number one so one let's move it over to here and then two right here I can do this right there so now now whoops now I would have like something with the numbers right next to the things to show people where to click on there's other there's obviously other tools that do a lot better than this but let's just uh, use this cop control a control c so control a to select the whole thing control c to copy it and then when I go back to this tool here I can actually paste it right in here right same thing I'm going to resize this a little bit make it a little bit smaller and then uh click the little plus camera icon on top of screen right and then the upload and then click the upload video video option so I want to make sure that it's the right text that people can see what I'm talking about right the plus camera icon oh I just did a control B. there we go so okay so that's in there and then this will give you this will pop up the option to upload video you can either drag and drop drop a video from a folder on your computer or click the button to find to to navigate nav navigate your folders to find it 
right so this will this will pop up like if I go here right and I say upload right it pops up this thing here to upload right it's coming up so it just gives you this right so I'm just going to do another screenshot here let's do that there we go and I can actually put that in my document right over here and I can just resize this so it's nice and small just take too much room hmm oh that didn't work I don't want that to be on the next page hmm, let's move it up here yeah. there we go okay so that's it here um this will pop up the button now I gotta make this look nicer whatever right but I mean that I'm kind of showing you that it's just as simple as doing that right you can I can move this over to so that you see a, you see that little that little anchor that's moving on the on the very whoops actually on the very uh left of the page there that little anchor that's that's telling me that that picture is going to be anchored to that position on the page now I can change the anchor which is over here to be part of the text right I can make it on top of it through the text the text can go through it and these different options right here so I'm just going to go like this I'm going to move it to before and then that makes the text show up right next to it right so I can do this like this so now this picture here let's make it a bit smaller is basically showing us this text it's making the text see how the text I can probably put a border on it where's the border graphics transparency border let's look at the border picture 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 options borders there you go I want to put a border around it like this I don't know maybe just this see what happens uh that didn't work uh, all right I gotta do this first I gotta say this I want a border like that and make it with a little there you go so now I've got a picture like this with a border around it right I can do the same thing with this one picture make it the same border one pixel like that whoops this guy here like this like this and go like that right so now I've got a picture with like a shadow behind it right it kind of shows that this is a picture and then over here I'm actually going to let's move this over to here and then this one here I'm actually going to make this go like this I'm going to make this guy anchor there too <coughs> all right so I don't know there there might be a better way well there is definitely right but I mean this is going to be the pop down drop menu right so this is your channel okay so this is before you publish uh before I can publish to my YouTube before I guess I should make that before you can publish to to your you to your before you can publish before you can publish your YouTube post you need to add the title description and link okay what 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 was I trying to say there so for me when I, and this is me talking about my 20 uh over 20 platforms in 20 minutes right so I'm kind of explaining the process I go through right the first thing I do is I post to YouTube that's my first one that's why I have what's that's why I put number one right there right that's like I said that's nothing to do necessarily with you with how you whatever post you're going to talk you're going to post right but this gives you an idea of what uh what I what you can do um ah I see so I can actually move that oh that's different okay I didn't realize that so I have to move it right to the edge so click on the plus camera icon on top screen and then click the upload video option so that's that's number one number two I could probably fix that so that there's no like ugly looking little lines but anyways um okay so uh then this will pop up that right let's actually make this guy the same background right so we want this border like this and then like this okay and make him uh also like that want him to be right there 
upload you can either drag and drop a video from the folder on your computer or click the button to navigate your folders to find it okay so that's that I'm going to save this this okay so um first go to you okay so before you can publish your YouTube posts you need not your you need to add the title description and link to the to your blog post well that's going to be is that right is it before you can put yeah yeah because you know the first thing I I the first thing I do is I upload the video right the well I record the video so maybe I should even talk about that so before before posting anything before I post before you post anything you need to you'll need you'll need to whoops you'll need to create the content the content what I do I gotta, what I do is you um as you probably already know what I do <coughs> is create a 30 minute video and a 500 to 700 word blog post I do both of those before my before I do my posting process right so that's the thing so I do that first right um and when I when I say it takes me 20 minutes that does not include the creation of the the content that the creation of the video that takes that's a 30 minute video can take from 30 minutes to hours to create depending on how much effort you want to put in depending on whether you have to re-record it more than once depending on whether you want to edit it afterwards or that that's really up to you right me I record it and then I basically upload it afterwards I don't I don't spend time editing it maybe I should but for now I'm not because my schedule doesn't allow me oh, sorry to spend more time on it than, than that right but then I write up the blog post and that's one of the things I do right so I do both both of those things uh before I do both of those before I do my posting process so for me uh, that well okay so yeah for me right I I upload video to uh to YouTube first so that the processing can begin right away okay I don't I don't count the 20 minutes in the in the in in this of course right so okay so that's the thing so we're talking about uploading I I need to th this is the thing I got a little bit confused in my post so this uploading here um so so now you got to do this right uh, so this is all the uploading part that's not even let's move that out to here Put that over here okay so 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 to to upload once you've recorded your video you can simply upload it to YouTube okay so first go to YouTube and go to your channel oh sorry about that uh by clicking your profile on top right and then the and then your channel your channel link is bold once on your channel you see all their videos you actually don't need to go there you can just you can just uh, upload right here right what did I miss this is the one that doesn't belong here let's move this whoops move this up here there okay that's the one here uh -huh. so once you've recorded you can upload it to YouTube first go to YouTube and go to your channel by clicking the profile and then this will pop up an option and this uh, 
um so once whoa I don't want that to be like this this is just regular text over here just uh now <clears throat> after uh after selecting selecting your video it will start to upload no need to set title or description just yet just set your just click just click the next button whoops button which will take you to the what's it called if I just select the file right here oh this is not the uh, I select file right here and I'm actually going to go and upload like say I don't know this is this the this already have let's do this one here there we go so there it's going to start uploading right away and it's going to show down the bottom here uploading there we go uh yep there you go so that's what I wanted to do over here just like this let's just paste that in here it's just after okay no, description that's not right description okay so this is the little thing we're just going to make this like this uh just click the next uh no need to just to set title or description just yet just click the next button which will take you to okay um, you'll see the percent upload progress bar updating okay the next will take you to the next which is this one right and you can actually skip this the video elements video elements take you to the video actually this is there right there to the video elements uh, part step which you can also skip by just clicking next again so actually it's next with uh, all uppercase right next again right so let's do another screen well I don't really need to we'll just do that and then select unlisted Uh, uh, and save what you will see this out of the way right here we just want this actually I'm going to do another one I want the whole there we go okay so I just wanted to do this now over here we're going to do this like this and we're going to say select next again the video element step which finally will no I did not save this other one I forgot to save the uh the other screenshot which is the one that I want here finally which will finally show you the upload progress unless okay so there so now you got this you got this 
uh video on it step oh no it is right here that's the one right here that I wanted okay yeah so then uh on let's make sure to change your vis the, the visibility to uh, unlisted <coughs> and then click the save button okay there you go okay so that's what that is right let's move that over to here actually I want this over here whoops I want this over can I move it to there oh I guess I have to do this to move that like this there we go okay let's do that <sighs> don't need this this can be like this this one let's do that again do that over to here there now it goes on its own page all right so I just uh let's see um so clicks and option of the elements we can also skip make sure to change the visibility to unlisted okay so now like <laughs> I'm like you're just seeing me you create this now let's go to the next the next part which is you might want to have your page look uh what I do with my ebooks is I like to have like a background right so what do I do for a background I could actually go into here format page and background and I can give it a color right let's say I give it this color just to see right that does that so the whole page is now like this right so the other option is you can actually go in here format page and let's not give it a background um, there's a page I can do page uh I want to have let's say I give it the, some borders on the page like this or maybe I just do this top and bottom now let's take that color out of there I don't want that page Do, 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 do. the background I don't want a background there we go there so now it's back to that but now if I want I can actually put an image there and, the, and one of the things I did before is I actually took an image and I made it lighter right so unfortunately I don't think there's there might be a tool let's just see if I have it there's an online so um uh, online tool to make image lighter how to brighten an image online open raw pics to image converter drop image that you want to make brighter click at it okay let's see this I don't know what this this is let's try it out image brightener oh that's nice how to brighten an image uh, make your image brighter well, that's not really what I don't necessarily want to do that uh, lighten image online let's try this I choose a file let's uh, get my uh, my pick my image that I have this whole thing where is that top 10 where's my 20 I have it in a bunch bunch of different ones there this one here has it I've got it in here this one here this image so I got this image lighten up image I want it to be what is this 80 lighten up image lighten mm, that's not what I wanted see this other way nope I want it to be like super light like look at that it doesn't really the black stays black I actually want to have what's this one on one
I want even the black to be lighter it's not working that's not what I want light an image change bright maybe just the brightness is what I want okay let's choose this file again uh -huh. this image here and I want it to be 50 what's the 50 no it's like the black is staying black right change saturation change exposure maybe the gamma because I gotta I gotta make it completely doesn't I don't know what I want to make it I want to make it light just you exposure hmm. no actually it's the other way around I think the exposure would have to be the other way let's see no that's not working either Hmm. yeah I need the black to be lighter too so working a little bit on this but not enough change contrast contrast maybe that's what I want I wish I would have known uh which tool to use I, I just realized this so no okay well I can't I guess I can't I guess I would have to darken image lighten image isn't that what I just did yeah it's lightening up all the colors but not the black the black isn't lightening up why is the black not lightening up now there's tools on my um add noise yeah just gamma change exposure vibrance saturation is saturation gonna work for blacks I know it works for colors but So be brighter I would think How about down here she works for the colors but not for the black <laughs> grayscale I don't want to I don't want a grayscale vert colors it's kind of annoying I have to keep looking up the file right be nice if it uh, remembered the file I had reverse colors is no good that's not what I want okay so now uh, uh, uh. lighten photos free online photo brightness brightness so I want to make the image image uh, transparency transparency change uh, change transparency okay let's try that choose a file this one okay alpha use luna pick checkerboard is under your image to show transparency oh, okay well that's not really it's not what I wanted either oh, okay well 
Hmm. I don't know if that's what I want is it I guess I could try apply to save changes mm, okay can I save it save it let's go into there this is mine over here right the background let's just do that and then let's see what happens if I use it in here so format uh, page background is going to be an image I'm going to browse for that I'm sorry my eyes are going on it's like it's not taking my <laughs> it's not letting me <laughs> change format page we're at 41 minutes I probably should uh let me just try to see this if this works again but browse okay let's just do that let's open it up again maybe there's something wrong with the So let's see if I go in here format page graphic browse go up to here and then go into my where was it it's under here how you can create this background No, it's not exactly I guess it's not too bad but it's still a little bit too bright right so anyways that's anyway so that's the thing so you're putting a nice background then afterwards what you do is you go to this file and then you say save as or export actually export as pdf right here and then you just there's different options but basically click on export then you gotta you know tell it a place to save it over here and there you go so now you got a pdf that you can share as an ebook and that's really that simple right you get to a point where you can actually have your uh, whole thing the whole document obviously you got to write up everything you got to make it all nice and look nice and like us like this background that I got there which you know could be better but that's kind of an idea of how you can do this and then you end up with your pdf that's how you use free tools and simple tools to do a great pdf that you can give out to get people on your list all right hopefully you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.